So what you need to do is log into your SiteGround account and I'll also show you guys how to do it if you're not using SiteGround as well. So click on websites and then here you can click on site tools. I think you can also click on add SSL over here as well. So click on that. And here we can scroll down and basically we have selected the Let's Encrypt SSL. So scroll down over here and then we can select the domain name uh, over here. Normally you'll only have one and then you can click on activate. And then that's going to take you to the sort of site tools area anyway. So we're going to go and click on SSL manager and select your domain, select Let's Encrypt and click on get. Okay, so once that is finished installation, then we can go back over here, click on the dashboard and then we can go to plugins and we're going to download a new plugin. So it's called Really Simple SSL. So Really Simple SSL and hit on enter and then install now. And then click on activate. So you should get this message over here. So we can go ahead and activate SSL. Now, generally, if you're using another host, it should show the same message as well. Now, if you don't see this message over here, it says like it's error um, that you don't have an SSL certificate installed on your domain. Then what you need to do is contact your web host and they should be able to install a Let's Encrypt on your domain for free. So generally it should work. Then I'm gonna click on go ahead and activate SSL. And then once that is done, then we might need to log back in. So let's try and visit our website. And then, okay, so we don't need to log in. All right, so if you do, then log in. We're gonna turn on the builder because it says not secure over here. So what we wanna do is we want to click on save and then we wanna close it. All right, so that ensures like all the images that we upload before sort of um, has gone into HTTPS, so for example, if we sort of move that in there, we can click on styling, background. So the sort of image URLs have changed. So that's what the plugin does. Click on save and then we can click on close and then you're pretty much done.